Hi all, I am going to take classes for Synchronous and Induction Machine in E202. Today we are dealing with Module 4, Three Phase Induction Motor. Myself, I am Ashwati Maryam, Assistant Professor, Department of Tripoli, SNIT, Ado. So, in this fourth module, we are dealing with three phase induction motor. As we all know that, in the first three modules, we have already discussed about generators. And in the fourth module, in the first section, we have discussed about synchronous motor. And the continuation of synchronous motor, we are coming across three phase induction motor. Okay, let's see what is a three phase induction motor. As we all know that motor is a device which converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. So the three phase induction motor is self starting and it does not require any external starting device. So three phase induction is known as a self starting induction motor. Okay. Three phase induction motor, the principle and working. and working of three phase induction motor are almost similar in a manner. From the figure we can see that the three phase supply is given to the stator winding. So when a three phase supply is given to a stator winding, a rotating magnetic field produces it and it rotates around the stator at a synchronous motor. So a rotating magnetic field is produced in the stator. This rotating field is passing through the air gap and it cuts the rotor conductors. So from the uh, stator it is moving to the rot towards the rotor conductor. So there is a speed difference between this rotating flux and the stationary rotor. The rotor is stationary. So our speed in a difference one rotating flux and stationary rotor another speed in a difference one now an EMF is induced in the rotor conductor based on electromagnetic induction. So EMF every on the rotor ne conductor le. But this rotor ne conductors they are short circuited. So car what happens is the current is starting to flow in the rotor conductors. Since the current carrying conductor rotor is placed in the magnetic field player produced by the stator, a mechanical force acts on this rotor conductor. So or mechanically or force acting in rotor and the conductor. So force on it, what it obviously produces, it will produce torque. So due to this force, that is due to this torque, we can move or we can do a particular work. Okay, next is the construction of three-phase induction motor. Three-phase induction motor has two parts, stator and a rotor. So first we will deal with stator. Stator consists of number of slots to form a three-phase winding. So stator actually corre slots are slots three-phase winding on a form three-phase supply input that is three-phase supply is given to the stator. When, uh, when the supply is given to the stator, it will produce a rotated magnetic field. We have already principle in the discuss here. Three-phase supply is given to the stator. So, as a method produce a very rotating magnetic field, the stator will produce a Next is the rotor. Rotor is uh, actually consists of cylindrical laminated core with parallel slots. So, rotor is cylindrical shape, anna, laminated. Anna. Adela core length on down parallel slots on down. A slots la copper ala aluminum bars namla place it on down either parallel slots of rotor la e conductors na namla place it on down. Then e conductors na ala namla short circuit each other to under at the number short circuit each other again at the by end rings end rings on down a short circuit each other. Let's check one. So, we have parallel slots. They are not exactly parallel to the shaft, but a little bit skewed. That is actual parallel. A little skewed. To reduce humming noise and to avoid stalling of motor. So, noise and stalling in the effect in Korkian Mindy, Amali Rotor Nagate, conductors wake in the slots, exactly parallel la Korcha, skew jail to the Paris, Korcha Chari Chana. Okay, the next is types of induction motor. So, uh, so far we have discussed 
the construction of uh, induction motor that is with stator and rotor based on the construction of rotor there are two types of induction motor first is squirrel cage induction motor and second is slip ring or wound type induction motor so first we are going to deal with squirrel cage induction motor in the figure you can see squirrel cage induction motor so we can see from the figure that it consists of laminated cylindrical core we have already discussed about the rotor part and already mentioned that this uh, type is based on the construction of rotor and the rotors we have already discussed it is a laminated cylindrical core adoru cylindrical core aanu nammal parnittunde it has parallel slots and the parallel slots are on the outer periphery a periphery na ee slots illa undav copper allengi aluminum bars nammal place cheyittundav and all these bars are joined at the end that is short circuit at the end by metal ring and these rings are known as end ring so nammal ee bars ne ellam kondu vannatha ayinde atte thende cheyittundav short circuit cheyittundav by metal ring called end ring and this forms permanently short circuited winding so idellam kondu vannu nammal short circuit cheythu vechirikkana so ee entire construction endinaan resemble cheya or squirrel cage ne resemble cheynondu nammal inna ee type induction motor ne squirrel cage induction motor na okay and squirrel cage induction motor those induction motor that uses squirrel cage induction motor they are known as squirrel cage induction motor edokka induction motor aano ee squirrel cage type rotor use cheynadu avare aanu squirrel cage induction motor nu velikkunathu and ee squirrel cage induction motor ubhayikkunnathu main disadvantage aanu adinu low starting torque aayirikkum so namukku low starting torque aanulla kaaranam nu vacha nammal ee rotor inde conductors la nammal copper or aluminum bars ne nammal place cheyittund nammal ivare ellam or attathu kondu vannu permanently short circuit cheythu vechirikkana so namukku or external resistance ne namukku add cheythu cheythu starting torque ne kootan pattathilla so squirrel cage induction motor inde basic disadvantage aanu adinu orikkalum starting torque ne improve cheyan pattilla adinu eppozhum low starting torque aayirikkum so next is slip ring induction motor from the figure you can see the type of rotor slip ring induction motor namukku diagram il manasilavum it consists of laminated cylindrical core and carries a three phase winding squirrel cage il ee rotor inde conductors la skew cheyidittunde ivide nammala parallel slots il copper alle aluminum bars ne nammala പ്ലേസ് ചെയ്ത് അറ്റത്ത് ഷോർട്ട് സർക്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്ത് എൻട്രിങ് വെച്ച് ഷോർട്ട് സർക്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്ത് വെച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന അതായത് സ്കോപ്പർ ബാറുകൾ ഉപയോഗിച്ചാണ് അവിടെ റോട്ടറിനെ കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ നടത്തിയിരുന്നത് ഇവിടെ സ്ലിപ്പറിങ്ങിൽ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മുടെ സ്റ്റേറ്റർ പോലെ തന്നെ ത്രീ ഫേസ് വൈൻഡിങ് കൊണ്ടാണ് എന്ത് കൺസ്ട്രക്ട് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് സ്ലിപ്പറിങ് ഇൻഡക്ഷൻ മോട്ടർ സൊ ആക്ച്വലി ഈ സ്ലിപ്പറിങ് ഇൻഡക്ഷൻ മോട്ടറിൽ നമ്മുടെ സ്റ്റേറ്റർ പോലെ തന്നെ എന്താണ് ത്രീ ഫേസ് വൈൻഡിങ് ആണ് and usually these windings are star connected so slip ring induction motor la windings eppolum star connected a irikkum and these windings are brought out namukku diagram il manasilagum ee windings ellam kuda endu cheyittund attathukku adine ellam brought out and they are joined to a slip ring idine ellam endu attathukku kodum evide connect cheyittund slip ring il koduttund and the slip ring is mounted on a shaft which is connected to a brush from the diagram you can see that if they are brought to the slip ring and to the shaft and to the brush these brushes are connected to a rheostat okay you can see from the diagram it is connected to a rheostat so e rheostat endana the purpose like what is the advantage or what is the aim of using this rheostat in the aim endana nachal in starting time le namaku external resistance ne namaku kondu varana namaku parna squirrel cage il already or disadvantage und that is it is having low starting torque so adini overcome cheyan vendi namaku high starting torque vendathu undu നമ്മൾ എക്സ്റ്റേണൽ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസിനെ നമ്മൾ ഇത് ഈ സ്ലിപ്പർ ഇൻഡക്ഷൻ മോട്ടർ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് എക്സ്റ്റേണൽ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസിനെ നമ്മൾ റോട്ടർ സർക്യൂട്ടിലേക്ക് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്യുവാണ് ഇംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ചെയ്യുവാണ് അപ്പൊ എന്തുണ്ടാവും ഹൈ സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് ടോർ നമ്മൾ ഇത് ഓൾറെഡി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് കഴിയുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് ടോർ ആയി കഴിഞ്ഞു സോ ഒബിയസ്ലി കുറച്ച് കഴിയുമ്പം അതിന്റെ സ്പീഡ് അറ്റൈൻ ചെയ്യുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് ഈ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് നമ്മൾ ഗ്രാജുവലി ഡിക്രീസ് ചെയ്ത് റെഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്ത് വിൽ ബ്രിങ് ഇറ്റ് ടു സീറോ എപ്പോൾ ആസ് ദി മോട്ടോർ റൺസ് അപ് ടു ദ റിക്വയർഡ് സ്പീഡ് then so this external resistance are used only due